Kayla King and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm really excited to do another Owl Crate unboxing and I do believe this is finally the package for December 2021. So let's dive right in. Now for my Owl Crate subscription, I did first begin with them last year and I received the September October, and then November boxes. And then after that, I did re-up my subscription. So recently I received the January 2022 box and December finally arrived today. And the December 2021 theme is Beneath the Waves. I love the artwork on this postcard. I am gonna set it aside just so there's no spoilers here. All right, the first thing we have is this little pouch, comes with a keychain. I suspect it might be one of those reusable tote bags, but we'll open it up and see. It looks like I was correct, it is a reusable tote bag. The pouch section flips inside to be used as a pocket and it's patterned with shells and swords and mermaid tails. It's a lovely design and so perfect to throw in your bag whenever you're on the go. Next up is a little brown paper parcel. It says Owl Crate exclusive created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. Oh, this looks like a little ornament, which would have been perfect for December. It says, there's freedom in stories. We read them and we become something else. Oh, and this is lovely. It is um, engraved wooden ornament. Right, next up, we do have this sparkly little pouch. Oh, this is so cute. I believe this is like a cleaning cloth for your eyeglasses or electronics. Looks like it's double-sided. So this side does have some people swimming in the ocean. And this side says, we were salt and sand and sea and storm. That is lovely. I can always use more of these, especially because I use my Felix Grey blue light blocking glasses on a daily basis for work, but also for any of my writing sessions. Right, next up we have this little black box with some silver detailing. And it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Ooh, love that. Oh, this is so pretty. It is a silver necklace and it says as Travars, which for some reason makes me think of a darker shade of magic. This right here does flip and it looks like a little globe with a map. So again, I'm thinking this might be from a darker shade of magic, but we'll see later on. I love jewelry, so I'm really excited about this. It looks really well made. All right, next up we do have the monthly enamel pin. This has some water and a tail and it says, here is a story, story it is. This is lovely. I can't wait to add this onto my pin banner that came in the January 2022 Owl Crate box. All right, we've got this rectangular package and it says, never miss your next heroic quest with this magnetic dry erase weekly calendar. Display it on your fridge or locker to help you stay organized. Please note, magnet will require some bending in the opposite direction of how it was rolled before it became flat enough to use. Let's open this right up. Oh, it does come with a dry erase marker. And it looks like this, it is quite bent, so it will require some bending in the other direction. I don't currently have a locker or anything to use this, but this is really fun. And I think for anybody that would have been starting off in the new year, this is a great addition to this box. Now, if this is what I think it is, I'm so excited. I did come into the Owl Crate subscription toward the end of their seasonal drinkware. I'm assuming this is the exclusive drinkware for the winter season. Let's see. It says, reading through the seasons to celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons, we've created a special limited collection of drinkware designed by artist Macarena Chumi. We welcome winter and its cozy, quiet nights with this beautiful ceramic mug featuring a quote from Toni Morrison. Ooh, this is a large mug. The piece of winter stars seemed permanent. This is gorgeous. It really does match the 
calligraphy that was used on the fall travel mug. This is a good size mug right here. It has some flowers and winter colors. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to put some coffee or tea in here. Next up is something that was supposed to be in the November 2021 box, but due to delays with production, it did end up in this December 2021 box, and that is a reading planner. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell right here, but it's got some reflective design. This kind of reminds me of a Ouija board, something mystical. It's gorgeous. And on the back, it says, a book is a dream that you hold in your hands. So inside, it does look like there are some monthly pages as well as some sections for book reviews. And the cover is very soft and flexible. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited to add this into my planner systems for 2022. If you're interested in learning more about how I'm organizing in this new year, I'll leave the link for that video in the description box below. Last but most certainly not least is the exclusive book that arrived in this month's Owl Creep box. Let's go ahead and open it up. As always, this came with a letter from the author to the Owl Creep readers, and this has gold lined pages. They're so shiny and naked. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. It says come forth. It's got like this marbled effect. Carries on to the back. And even these end pages are stunning. And we have a reversible dust jacket. Look at this artwork. Now, unfortunately, one thing I'm noticing is it looks like my end pages are actually ripped in my copy of the book, which is a little disappointing. It looks like something happened here. I can probably just tape this back together. Just slip this in here for now. That's a little sad. Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. A way to survive, a way to serve, a way to save. Simi prayed to the gods once. Now she serves them as Mamawata, a mermaid collecting the souls of those who die at sea and blessing their journeys back home. But when a living boy is thrown overboard, Simi does the unthinkable. She saves his life, going against an ancient decree, and punishment awaits those who dare to defy it. To protect the other Mamiwata, Simi must journey to the supreme creator to make amends. But all is not as it seems. There's the boy she rescued, who knows more than he should, and something is shadowing Simi, something that would rather see her fail. Danger lurks at every turn, and as Simi draws closer, she must brave vengeful gods, treacherous lands, and legendary creatures, because if she doesn't, then she risks not just the fate of all Mamiwata, but also the world as she knows it. As always, it does come with a little pamphlet giving more information. It also had the sneak peek for the January 2022 box, Thrill of the Hunt, which we actually already received. And I'll leave the link for that in the description box below if you're interested in seeing that unboxing. So now that we've opened everything up, let's go back and read a little bit more about everything. Beneath the Waves, spoiler warning. Juniper and Ivy Designs wants to add a bit of bookishness to your tree with this wooden ornament they created that's inspired by the mermaid, the witch, and the sea. This oversized ceramic mug featuring a quote from Toni Morrison marks the last installment of our Reading Through the Seasons Drinkware 2021 collection. Artist Macarena Chomique captured the pale loveliness of wintertime with this final floral piece, and we just can't wait to use it for hot chocolate. Poseidon himself would swoon over the design that Chatty Nora created for our magnetic dry erase board inspired by the Percy Jackson series. Tip, the board will need some time to flatten out from its rolled shipping state. Gently rolling it in the opposite direction will help. You can also lay it flat and then top with your heaviest books to flatten. At Paperback Bones designed this spinning pendant necklace for those who adore subtle bookish accessories. 
Fans of a darker shade of magic will recognize the Antari words as Travars, meaning to travel, on one side and minimalist gray London streets on the other. Keep your glasses and e-reader screens clean with our double-sided cleaning cloth inspired by Fable. On one side, you'll find one of our favorite quotes from the duology hand lettered by at Meaningful Letters. On the other, at Nicole.deal.art illustrated one of our favorite underwater scenes of Fable and West. Janine LaCour was inspired by the deadly sirens haunting the ocean depths in To Kill a Kingdom when creating the design for this foldable, reusable shopping bag. Keep it handy in your car or purse to help keep plastic bags out of our oceans. An unforgettable debut inspired by West African mythology, Skin of the Sea reads like Children of Blood and Bone meets The Little Mermaid, in which a mermaid takes on the gods themselves. We think you'll become entangled in this lushly captivating fantasy world that Natasha Bowen created as much as we did. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover as well as reversible dust jacket art created by artist Laylee Frazier. You'll also find gorgeous gold gilded edges, a full color hardcover case, and special end pages all exclusive to our edition. Author Natasha Bowen wrote a letter just for our subscribers as well. Icy Designs was inspired by the Mami Wata and Skin of the Sea when designing this month's enamel pin. We're in love with the colors of it. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Owl Crate. Overall, I will say this is one of my favorite boxes I've yet to receive. I think I say that almost every unboxing, but this one featured so many practical items, but lovely items as well. I can't wait to wear that necklace, to throw the reusable bag in my purse, and to also have that cleaning cloth nearby whenever I pop my glasses on for another writing session. Stay tuned for next month's unboxing. I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, no matter where the day takes you, dream big.